Welcome to episode 5 of my Detroit Red Wings franchise mode series. This episode is just flat out cup or bust. We added on Zay Kopitar. So let's sim and see what happens. So here's a look at the standings. We ended up winning the division with 106 points and 50 wins, finishing just ahead of, it's really weird to say this, defending Stanley Cup champion Toronto Maple Leafs. Florida and Boston already make it. Tampa actually misses. Let's look at the rest of the league now. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. As a small content creator, it would mean the world to me. So the Oilers win the President's Trophy with 113 points, but we finished in second place with 106. You absolutely love to see that. Chicago is back in the playoffs with 96. Philly makes it again. Tampa missed as the 12th best team, so the East is really good. Kraken make it in. Sharks make it again. The Rangers are not good in this sim for whatever reason. And let's see who's taking last. Ottawa Senators, that great top six everyone's talking about in person, has collapsed in the video game. And I wouldn't be shocked if that happened in real life because they have no defense. So I guess it wouldn't be the top six collapsing, but I could see them not being nearly as good as anyone expects. Buffalo still stuck in that rebuild. Calgary has collapsed. Nashville finally rebuilding. And then Montreal that is the bottom five. So Nathan McKinnon had 58 goals and 106 points. That signing is looking incredible for us. Kopitar, point per game. But Kopitar wasn't incredible for us, surprisingly. 14 points in 21 games, but he's a two-way forward. We all know that. Larkin, 75. Raymond, 71. Pavelski, 68. The offense was amazing. Most Sider, 49. You love to see that. Soderblom, 35. Mata only ended up playing in 21 games. Edmondson is an 83 now. Raymond is an 86. Vili Huso was phenomenal. 40 wins, 913 save percentage. Talbot struggled, but still was 10, 6, and 3, so I can't complain too much. Jack Campbell leads the league and wins with 45, though. Samsona, 41, so a lot of big winning goalies this year. Campbell also a 913 save percentage, so I'd say even though Husso is great, it's likely that Campbell will win the Vesna. As for rookies, Tomas Rensfeld, that medium franchise player, he's already at 90 overall, 82 points in 82 games. That's ridiculous. Eklund, also a beast in this now. Kenton Johnson, also great. Bedard, you are not winning Rookie of the Year, apparently. Only 56 points in 86 overall. And Nikita Kucherov leads the league in points with 109. I was really hoping it would be McKinnon. But McKinnon scored 58 goals, so I think he still has a good shot at the heart. And McDavid with 100 there. And that was the only three players over 100 points. In fact, scrolling down, Svechnikov is on the first page, and he only has 89. Matthews with 92. Debrinkat. Maybe we should have traded for him at 93. McKinnon is taking home the rocket. No surprise there. Let's see who's leading in assists. Condry with 41 goals as well. Drew Doughty leads the league in assists. That's insane. Tied with Tara Vinen though with 64. Heiskanen on there with 61. Krejci still has it with 58. Miro Heiskanen 73 points. Drew Doughty 73 points. Barry with 69. Nice. I think Heiskanen is going to take home the Norris. Makar, Yossi, and Fox all in the 60s, while Hedman with 59. And we are against the Philadelphia Flyers in the playoffs. If we don't get out of this first round, I will scream. Flyers overall have a very solid offense, but other than Couturier, no one super great. More Couturier, Konechny, Atkinson, Frost, Ferebi, Bunting, Lawton, LeBanc, Tippett, Hayes, Nick Foligno, only a 79. Solid depth, but not quite good as ours. On defense, Provorov and D'Angelo, 85 and 86. Ellis and Zdeno Chara is still going now with the Flyers, age 47, with as an 81. That's pretty crazy. Overall, they have a very solid team, but lack that star power that we have. In goal will be 88 overall, Carter Hart. So that's what scares me more than anything with this team. Game one in Detroit, 0-0 at the end of the first. 2 nothing Philly at the end of the second. Kevin, come on, man, why you gotta do that to me? 4-2 Flyers, McKinnon gets two back with Atkinson in the 79 overall, Nick Foligno. Is this Detroit Red Wing team a team of chokers? Game two, 1-0 Philly, Cam Atkinson. Come on boys, let's step it up. We should be crushing this team. Or we'll step down, it's three to nothing. 
Four nothing. Oh my goodness. We got 40 shots on goal. So a huge game from Carter Hart. But this is embarrassing. Game three. This is honestly must win at this point. And that is what I like to see. Perron and Kubalik. Two nothing lead for us. Flyers get one back, which means we're gonna slow slim this third period because it is a close game. We are getting outshot. Owen Tippett, the ginger, scores on us, and it is tied two to two. If we lose this game, there is going to be big changes in the offseason. Let me tell you. Three to two. Atta boy, Mac Daddy. Hold on now. All we gotta do is hold on. Let's keep it in there. Off. Let's keep it in our offensive zone. Excuse me. One minute left. Ten seconds. Big win. We needed that desperately. Here is game four. Two to one, Philly. Atkinson scoring a lot of goals, but so is McKinnon. But Konechny also gets one. Come on, let's step it up. We can't lose this game. Four to one, Philly. Seven to two, Philly. Philly Huso, what are you doing? They only had 25 shots. Philly Huso only has an 8.53 save percentage, so he is getting benched for Cam Talbot. Here are what the forward lines are going to be looking like. Larkin, McKinnon, Perron stay together. Raymond still gets that plus five on line two. The bottom six has been really struggling. We have Veronica Kubalik on line three and Fabry Sotoblom Zadina on line four. They really need to step it up. Dumba and Sider are staying together, but I switched Broberg and Ed Vincent out. That bottom four group there has also really been struggling. Let's see what happens now. Here we go, winner go home. We're down two to one. I have no idea why Vili Huso is in. That makes no sense. We're going to slow sim the third now. Five on four power play. We need it. We don't get it. We're out shooting them. Come on, offense. Though I'm mad that Huso's still in, you can't blame the loss on him right now. We only have one goal. Another power play failed. Carter Hart's just too good. Are we really going to lose to the Philadelphia Flyers? Oh no! We are a team of chokers. And the New York Islanders are Stanley Cup champions. St. Louis goes from 8 to 1 to win the draft lottery. Good for them. Montreal also moves up. Joe Pavelski actually calls it quits. He was still a great player. 87 overall, 23 goals and 45 assists for us last year. I actually probably would have resigned him, but like I said, it's time for big change. We had a lot of guys with expiring contracts, so that's a big one. Yandel finally calls it quits, even though he retired in real life this year. James Neal up there as well. And it is also the end of Carey Price. Joe Pavelski is now a coach for us, though. That's so sick. I love to see that. Mark Stahl and Shea Weber are now scouts. As you can see here, I just fired our head coach. His style was physical, and I'd like to hire a coach with a different style for next season. Here's what the playoff tree looks like. Islanders won in seven over Winnipeg. Toronto choked in the first round in seven games again. The world is back to normal. Panthers made it to the conference final. The Sharks are somehow really good. They made it to the conference final, so good for them. The Blackhawks also good. This sim is just wild. So really the only two guys that showed up for us in the playoffs were Captain Larkin, who had six assists in five games, and Nathan McKinnon with four goals in five games. Other than that, as you see here, very, very disappointing stats, and a lot of minuses, and a lot of zeros and ones. Kopitar, I regret trading for you. Mark Shifley, 30 points in 27 games. Patrick Kane went off, 24 points in 13. Barzal likely won the con with 24 in 24. And there you see it once again, Islanders Cup champs. Oilers with the President's Trophy, so of course they did not win the Cup. Clarence's Campbell to Winnipeg and Prince of Wales to the Islanders. Kucherov to the Art Ross. Did McKinnon win the Hart? He did! Let's go! At least something good came out of this season. McKinnon with the Hart Trophy. Hopefully he can go back-to-back -back next year because we'll need it. Latang wins the Norris. He's old. That's surprising. Kucherov, Lady Bing. Rensfeld, of course, wins the Calder. Barzal did win the Conn Smythe. Tristan Jari wins the Vesna. It's a little unexpected. William M. Jennings to Jack Campbell. Yanni Hockenpah gets the Masterton. The Sharps coach back-to-back. -back. Jack Adams, honestly well-deserved. Barkov, Selkie once again. McKinnon with the Ted Lindsay. Maurice Richard. So thank you so much for watching this episode. It's a little bit disappointing to end like that. But we've got the draft and offseason. And it's going to be a hectic offseason. So you won't want to miss that episode. Please like and subscribe, and thanks again for watching.